Imagine firing up your webcam and watching as AI transforms your real-time video into something out of this world. Well, in this video, I'm gonna showcase this free and amazing AI tool that generates real-time AI video using only a webcam. So this is the website guys, it's Kriya.ai. Now there's a few tools on here. I wanna mainly just show you guys the real-time generation, but then I'm gonna showcase the other ones that it has. So we wanna click here where it says real-time generation. Now you've probably seen this video already. If you haven't, I'll just show you anyway. You can essentially just move this and it'll automatically change what's generating over here. And you can see at the bottom here, pink frog on top of a blue mushroom and you can change that to whatever and you can move this around i don't know it's cool not too fast about that one we want to go over here where it says camera so here's where it begins it's got my camera on the left hand side and on the right hand side it's automatically generating something now the reason why it's being a bit weird at the moment is because we have to go down over here where it says ai strength let's lower that for now let's go to 0.1 Okay, so now we're getting a more realistic image of what's being shown on my webcam. Now, this is the part where it gets really, really cool because you want to go over here where it says random prompt. You want to select that. So now it's selected this prompt here, which is a bayo with moss draped trees, silent except for the chorus of frogs and crickets. I don't even know what the hell that means. But I'm going to show you guys in a second how to make it look really, really cool. Let's make sure we've got cinematic selected up here, okay? Now let's increase the AI strength back to about, I'd say 0.45. 0.45 or 0.47 is probably the, the good number, okay? And you can see there, guys, so now... It seems, okay, I'm just gonna move the microphone just for a second, guys. I'm just gonna lower it a little bit, just to, like, you can see it's still following me. I'm like leaning over, it's still tracking me. All right, I think I know what's going on. I think the Elon thing is actually confusing it because it's picking up his face. I'm gonna move him out of the way and let's give it another try. Okay, so here's the interesting part. You guys can see the computer in the background. So it's like picking up the monitor, which is quite interesting. If I go over there now, it'll even follow me. Let's keep changing the prompts. Let's see what else we get. And we keep, let's see what we can find. A cybernetic skyline with flying cars and holograms reflecting a futuristic anime realm. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, let's increase the strength. Yeah, it seems like once you go a bit too much above five, it starts getting weird. It seems like four is like the, is the good number. And you can see there it's picking up the computer in the background so you probably don't want to pick up anything in the background so I, that's why i think maybe four point yeah 4.5 nothing's being picked up brute granting mystical abilities akin to magic infusion anime settings i don't know what that means but let's just carry this and let's see what it does that is interesting the fact that it was able to pick up the the color of what i'm holding now it, it is very touchy like if, if i'm moving for a sec i gotta be very still i am now in some forest so it's interesting some you can increase quite a bit <laughs> i guess it picked me like doing a close-up shot of me doing a thumbs up oh there we go now i'm holding a lantern this one's interesting i wrote harry potter starting a fire in his hands and you can see there, like, I mean, it's not Harry Potter exactly, but that's still pretty, like, close. Let's see if it picks up the lighter. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of see it's picking up the flame, but it's kind of creating it as, like, uh, the, the background uh, chimney. Let's see if I, I'll do it with the left hand. Let's see what it does. Oh, there we go. There we go. So if you... <laughs> Yeah, I'm holding it with my left hand and you, this is pretty cool. I would love to see how water would react to this. This is not available right now on the mobile phone, but I could imagine that this is going to be available from your phone very, very soon. So I can't wait to see what, we, what people are going to generate. All right, now I did uh, Miley Cyrus singing and I've got the microphone in front of me. So like I could like put my hand out like that. Like, I don't know. There we go. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's this is pretty like I don't it's so spot on with the tracking. Like the fact that it can just track you like that is insane. Mind you, the, some of these prompts are so beautiful. Let's kick on Bloom. What does Bloom do? It's more of like an artwork type of vibe, but I don't know. It just looks like let's click product. Let's see what it does. Oh. What the hell? Did that sort of like create an Nike logo? It did. Let's lower it. If the, if you lower it down to like 0 0.1, like, I don't know, like, like that's pretty realistic. Like the fact that this is like their, their first one, like imagine how good this is going to get and how much faster it's going to be. You could be in like a Teams chat and you could just be like talking and this could be working. Let's just keep refreshing. Let's see what it does. This is kind of cool. Like when you go to about 35, you can start seeing stuff in the background and it's changing me a little bit, but it's still tracking me. So it's really cool. The I want to show you guys something else. When you go over here, camera background, and you go to photos, you can sort of like select, I'll, we'll just go through all of them now. When you select this one, I don't know. It just sort of adds like an additional vibe. And you can just, it, I love how you're just clicking on stuff and it's just changing and it's going to the next thing. Like it, it's absolutely amazing. This is so cool. It's so clean. It's got a clean interface. I think this tool would be amazing for time lapses. I want to check it out. I, I, I promise you guys, I will do a time lapse. I want to see if this works on my iPad because if this works on my iPad, I can just have it there sitting there. Maybe I'll mow the lawns. Let's just see what it generates. Anyway, that's the real time video generation using the webcam or camera. I'll show you guys the other tools whilst we're here. I think if you go over here, text to image, you can literally just say whatever you want. Uh, let's just, we'll just click random. One thing I love, I love the fact that you can just click random. Like that's amazing. Here's another one. Stepping stones ac across a tranquil pond leading to a tea house very beautiful i'm just gonna share my screen on the left hand side and i don't know i'm just gonna see what it can do so there's my screen oh all right so it's picking up my wallpaper on my computer and I, obviously it's got a prompt here it's kind of interesting in a sense I, I don't know when you would need this i just keep i'm clicking refresh i don't know it's it's a feature that i, I don't know why they have this feature here but i'm sure it will come to good use maybe for artists that are that are painting something on a different app and they're sharing the screen could be for that so the, interesting interesting feature then we go to the other feature up here which is enhanced so i uploaded this image of me before just standing in my room i don't know it's a few years old um i just i didn't really play around with it much at the start but i don't know like kind of just gives it like a really good effect um, i like how accurate it is i gave it another try i think i lowered the yeah the ai strength i lowered and the upscaling factor i increased um and you can see there it's it's much it's very accurate uh it's not really like it's only changing a bit of stuff but you can see there my playstation 4 this is a few years ago so it's pretty cool that it can upscale that image Here's like some image of a frog. I think these were the images that were already input. That is absolutely insane. Like this, especially if you've got an old photo laying around, the fact that it can just upscale this is absolutely insane. This chocolate cake, like this is already a pretty like high resolution photo. But when you go, yeah, when you just move it a little bit, oh my God. Now for the pricing, it is free. Um, now I'm just going to go through each one. 50, uh, th now these are all the free options, 50 image generations a day, 10 video generations a day, three AI trainings after sign in and up to two parallel image generations. The other stuff that you can't do is commercial license, license, fast generations, private images and private AI training. Okay. And that, and obviously if you pay the $24 a month, you, you get all of that. The one thing I love about this app guys, it, it is free. And the reason why I say it's free is sometimes I'll say it's free, but you can only do about three generations. This gives you a lot of generations in one day, 50 free generations for images and 10 videos. That is pretty cool. Go check this tool out. I'm going to put a link in the description below and let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if there's anything I missed. I'm sure this one is going to get really, really good. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.